That's why I do this. There we go. You didn't hear a word I said. Um, I'll wait till that kicks in now. <laughs> That's why I do this. Sorry if you're wearing headphones. Um, okay, there we go. What I what I did say was, yeah, I got it. Um, what I was saying was, wasn't that little clip like super calm and annoying at the same time? It was just a, an MP4 I found on my computer and I put it in the loop. I'm using my laptop instead of my uh, desktop to do the stream. It runs better. Yeah, I didn't have the mic turned on. The, the stupid thing with this camera, well, it's not the camera's fault, but it's uh, the microphone on top. I've got like a Shure uh, VP83 mounted on top. The switch on the back, you can't see that it's on and it makes a green light so you know it's on when, when the green light is on, but you can't see the green light from the front. Really stupid. I've many times left it on, killed the battery. It runs on one AA. There we go. Can hear bow. How's it going? It's Friday. Again. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> um, I didn't pick. Uh, I didn't pick any uh, topic. I'll put. I'll put a topic in the title later. Usually, I like to see if anybody. Well, actually, you know what? I got one topic. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about. Maybe it's kind of stupid, but I'm sure. It, maybe you guys have heard it. Um, just briefly, I'll mention it. The uh, the cover, the cover for Nevermind, Nirvana's album. The uh, the baby is suing Nirvana for uh, the photo. And that's all I'm going to say. I put a mirror behind it, yeah. Except I moved the camera around everywhere. I could put I could put one of my guitars behind it. That is a good idea. I just need to find a, a mic that has some kind of indicator on the front. So. So, 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 so. Hey, I got a thumbs down already. I thank you for the thumbs down because that 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 means you uh, interacted with the video. So that's cool. Thumbs up. Sorry, one sec. Just need a swig of vodka. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure things are going well here on this side. This is my engine, and that's my <clears throat> bubble in my throat. Okay, there we go. So maybe we'll catch a few more people this week because three o'clock is when I used to do it. I used to do these mainly three o'clock and then I kind of moved it around whenever it worked, but three o'clock seems to be pretty good to more people. Let's see who we got here. I'll just say hi to some people. Good John, how's it going? Um, Gavin, Zach, Charles75, hello. Joy, Love and Heart, hello. Funky Gamer, Harry E. A lot of names I recognize from, from the comments all the time. Batty. Uh, Mad Chris 2249, Austin Ledley. I always notice Austin. I always notice your your avatar because it's uh, uh, it's Donald Sutherland, right? Uh, what movie is that? I forget which movie that is. Freaks me out that picture though. Is that the one? Um, is it Soylent Green? Is it that movie? Or something? I I can't remember. Ben Dover. That's a good name. There we go. We had a crazy uh, heat wave here the last week, and it just broke last night. So we're, we're at like we were at like 40 Celsius for like a week, and now we're at 24 or something. So it's nice. Uncle Brad, Brad Bailey's here. Not related. Just kidding. I buy guitar. I buy guitar. I buy guitars because of you. Don't blame me. See, I have no influence. Um. I think there was a question up there at the beginning. How little is a Mustang compared to a Strat? Um, not that, like it's not tiny. It's not like, um, it's not like one of those mini guitars. It's, it's thinner, it's skinnier, like slimmer, the body's slimmer and it's shorter scale. So it's, it's you know, depends on the Strat too. Um, um, yeah. The baby is suing Nirvana. Yeah, okay, so the album is like, what year did it come out, 91? 30 years ago, so the baby's 30 now? Whatever, that's all I'm gonna say about that whole thing, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, the thumbs down is probably for the suing. Oh, I got two thumbs down. Have you reviewed Noventa Telly? No, I haven't reviewed a Noventa Telly. 
Hey, John, it's 5 a.m. Saturday here. Streams are usually never on a good time for me. It's, he, John is in the future. Oh, Joy Buzzer just finished watching the Fender Les Paul video. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That's what I meant. What did I say? Soylent Green? I meant Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I think I've seen the clip where they like zoom in on him and he's like, like that. Uh, I want to buy a Mustang, but I'm, I worry it, it looks super small compared to a Strat Tele. Um, I don't have a Mustang here to compare, so. Oh wait, I, I have, uh, no, I don't. I don't have a Mustang here. I have the Cyclone, but it's not the same body. It's close, but uh, there you go. Hello from Perth, Australia. That's George. John is also in Australia. Australia is pretty big, so I don't know where Perth is compared to where John is, but it's like saying when somebody says uh, they're in Canada, Canada is massive too, right? Yeah. Gear Junkie 35, what's up? Yeah, I just did a video. Um, just put it up last night. Is that chat behind? Oh no, there we go. That one's ahead. Got two screens going here. Um, did a video on a J A J A ninety Telly thin line Telly. People kept asking me, they're like, "Do it? Can you get a thin line Telly?" And I'm like, "I don't really like thin line Tellys, but so it's coordinated with Sweetwater and uh, Cortec is the big umbrella corporation that makes court guitars and contract work for. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm pretty sure. Uh, is this a Cortec guitar? Yep, that's what I thought. This guitar is made in Indonesia. This is the PRS SE Custom 24. It reminded me of the neck finish, reminds me of the, the Jim Adkins, the J90, the one I just did the video on. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. One day that whole thing's gonna fall down live during the video, during one of these live streams, the whole thing. And then, uh, then I'll cry and scream. And I have a, I'll have a bunch of relic guitars instantly. It'd be amazing. Um, do Dougal Dog got a Revstar RS420. It's leaving me a bit cold so far. Oh, I haven't tried one of those. I don't know. The baby from VH, Van Halen's 1984 cover should kick Nirvana baby's arse. I've seen a couple of memes. Actually, it was uh, Chris. Uh, how do you say his last name? The bassist from Nirvana. He released. He had a he had a post on Instagram, and it's like the new the new cover for Nevermind, and it's just the blue water and the dollar bill and no kid. Uh, good afternoon from Greece. Do you keep all the guitars for your videos? No, I don't. The ones, that, it depends on the situation, like uh, some are giveaways, some some I buy, a lot of them I buy, and then I sell them. So that's that's how, yeah, I don't, like, most of the stuff, it, actually all my guitars are out in here right now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guitars, which is a lot, but that's, that's it. That's like, usually that's where I kind of, cap it off if I, w I wouldn't have more than that so oh there you go perth to melbourne is like it's it's cross country <laughs> um nathan next giveaway i have a giveaway coming up i'm working on it right now Cortec makes PRS SE. Yeah, I just confirmed that. It says right on the headstock. Sea foam or surf green? I like surf green. No, sorry. I, mean, I, I like sea foam green better. That's what that one is. Other way. It's kind of hard to tell. It's it's got a I got a blue light. Not the beer, but a, a blue RGB light shining, making everything blue. Um 
Basically, if a guitar is made in Indonesia, it's Cortec. They sound like a big company. Squire Classic Vibes 2. Yeah, they are now. They weren't last year. I think they just, I think a lot of stuff moved over to Indonesia, like in the past year. Um, the Squire stuff, a lot of this, not everything. Not everything, because the Paranormal series, those were made in China. Yeah. Ego, is this a video game? Yes. Again, it's another video game. You're on level six right now. Insert coin. Make sure you save game. I don't know what that means. Hey, Jackson, how's it going? I'd like to I'd like to just buy that channel bound neck from you. Well, it's got a guitar attached to it. This one, right? This is a channel bound neck. And to explain what that means, it's not a binding. It's like so some guitars have, I don't think I have a guitar with a binding. No, I do. I'll compare it. One sec. Here's the difference. Let's do a lesson. Okay. This is um, a Squire vintage modified bass guitar, and that's a binding. If you can see that, okay. I'm not sure if it's... So it's like a strip, stop it, strip of plastic or whatever material it is, I don't know, but it runs along both sides, up and down the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna go put that down. And this, this is a channel bound, which means what you're seeing around the edge, let's get closer up on it. That's wood. That's not a binding. That's the wood. The woe wood. Um, so like the maple wood has been routed out. You can actually kind of see it a little bit in the bottom. Let's see if we catch it here. You can kind of see the routing. Oh, I almost got it. I can get it. I can get it. There you go. Can you see those little jagged little kind of... Oh, look at that. Look what I just discovered. There we go. Let's let's break let's break this let's break the internet. I'm not trying to do it here. Anyways, get the point. I mean that's that's the point. It's a, it's a mirror pick guard, so it's kind of it's a reflection of what uh, what's inside that counts. Um. Okay, there we go. That's the channel bound. Ruffman, hey Landon, have you seen Friends? Not lately. I used to watch it. Uh, where's the Paul's asking? Where's the best place to live in Canada? I don't know. There's usually a bunch of surveys, and like you can see like a top place or whatever. I don't know where, where the best place is. I've only lived in Ontario, so don't know. There we go. The frog featured on Silverchair's debut album is suing. I knew it. It's about time. They didn't get permission. That's animal, uh, animal, uh, animal rights. Hmm. Padded pedal roommate. How's it going? Friday, almost pizza time. That's true. Ah, frog stomp. I get it. Ego is still on level six. I don't know. You, well, I, you know, depends. I can't tell. You just want the neck. Yeah. I got that neck, uh, Sweetwater. I bought it from Sweetwater. Just the neck. Does binding help with sharp fret ends? No, I don't think it's... Um... Oh, actually, you know what? Depends. It depends. There's different kinds. Those one, that one, the binding on that that um, that bass guitar, the frets are on top, so that wouldn't help. But there are some. I'm trying to think where I've seen it before. Maybe on some Gibsons, maybe on Les Paul. I've seen where the binding actually, uh, like the uh, the fret end doesn't overlap the binding. It's kind of encased underneath. That might help. Um, yeah. Oh, there you go. I, I, I should have looked ahead. Case of Gibson, I guess, because they all put the binding over the frets. Um, Nathan, what's the story of the mirror pickguards? How do you find them? Uh, 
I just got them on Amazon. I was just looking for something different and they were like 17 bucks. So I got, that's, that's the story. That's it. They're just cool looking. It's just a cosmetic thing. Capital Canada is Ottawa. That's true. Steven S. Hey all, how's it going? Yeah, 54 people watching. I had two thumbs down. I'll put it back. There we go. That's better. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Ipuya is thinking of getting a bass. Pref uh, prefer a P bass or jazz. I don't have any preference because I don't know anything about bass guitars. I bought that one. Why did I buy that one? I bought that one. I've used it for backing tracks and it was like 400 bucks. It was not too bad. And I like the look. It's got like inlays, block inlays. And, oh, I did a, I did an upgrade video on it. That was one of the things I did with it. I put in some noiseless pick, uh, pickups and yeah, I don't, I can't play bass. I cannot slap it a bass like Paul Rudd, but. Avery lives in BC, in Vancouver. Oh, I was saying Vancouver often tops the best place. Best, the list of best places to live, yeah. Mm, but as a Canadian, do you prefer the Gibson hockey stick headstock? No. Well, I, I definitely don't like the Fender one. I've never seen the Gibson one. The Fender, God, that thing is terrible. Fender does like a curved, it's usually on the, it's on the 12, 12, uh, I was gonna say 12 inch guitars, 12 string guitars. PRS Nate needs to hurry up and make a Silver Sky SE. Oh yeah, that's interesting. They probably will. Who knows? Ever mess with the drums? Yeah, when um, I, whenever I tried, it, it was a mess. My I was in a band, so I'd get behind the kit not very often, like maybe once or twice, and I, I can't, I just can't coordinate my hands with my feet. I can't do that. Yeah. Uh, Landon, where do you stand on the mirror tone debate? It's it's debatable. I, I need to reflect on that. Ask me later. Um, Juan, hi Landon. Uh, are your vids? I think you missed a word in there. You must. You, met, you probably meant to say I I hate your vids. Hope you're okay. Greetings from Peru. No. I'm guessing you said you like my videos. Cool. Thoughts on 50s, 60s Fender modified Telecasters. S1 switch with four way. 50s, 60s Fender modified Telecaster. I don't know what those are. Is that, you mean the Vintera modified? Um, if that's what you're talking about, I have one. It's that, that green one. Oh, there. Um, and I've done a video on it. I put a, a rosewood, I bought the body. The body's loaded. So it's basically what a Baja was. If, I'm, if we're talking about the right thing, they renamed it used to be called the Baja, and now it's called, uh, pretty sure it's a Vintera Modified 60s. I like it. S1 switch, four-way. It's pretty cool. You can do the uh, out of phase, out of phase stuff. John says he cut his own mirror strap pick guard. Um, did it hurt to cut the mirror in the bathroom though? That's pretty dangerous. I want a silver sky real bad with the price point. They're just so much. Yeah, they're like, man, here in Canada, let me look it up. Let me look up. I will look up a PRS silver sky, silver sky. I'll tell you what the price is. First price pops up here is reverb 31.89. Canadian, yeah. And that's from Reverb I'm looking at there. So that's like, plus tax is going to be like close to 3500 with a gig bag. Oh, you get a gig bag though. So that, that makes it worth it. <laughs> Apparently that was a John Mayer thing. He, he said uh, he wanted the gig bag. I, I don't care. Like gig bag. I don't usually use the case or the gig bag that often. I usually use the guitar. So that's just me. Hey, Don. Oh, that's no, talking to, I believe uh, Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, it's 
Steven, will, he will Fender ever make a headless? Uh, don't know. Probably not. I would guess no. Vintero, okay, yeah, so we're talking about that guitar. Take a look at my channel. What did I call the video? I can tell you what it's called. My videos. And then, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, maybe it was. No, it was this year. I did it this year. Uh, adding an all rosewood neck to a Fender Vintera. Oh, what? I'll just paste it, copy paste it here. Hold on. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. No, I can do it here. Here, I don't know why I didn't do this before. This makes it easier. Uh, where is your name? Nathan, right? Nathan. There you go. Have a look later. Uh, Mad Chris, any Telecasters you try that you don't care about much after playing it? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm trying to... Usually if I don't like a, a guitar, sometimes it's like in a music shop. You know what a, a really big turnoff is if they have like rusty strings and the guitar is out of tune? That's to me. Even if the guitar is really good, I'll put it down. I won't even. I won't even ask for. A I won't even try to tune it or ask for a tuner if the strings are all rusty in a store. I'll just, that's. I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what? So that does remind me. Okay, there was a, a custom shop telly, I tried, and I, I didn't like it. But I think somebody told me this later. The uh, the action was so high. They're like it was probably set for, set for. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, God, can't think of the name. We have one of these. <laughs> the hell are these called? My brain's not working. A slide. It's probably set for slide. So I've got a couple slides. Or maybe this is a shot glass and the bottom fell out. Slide, right? It maybe it's set up for slide tuning, which apparently can be, or action, slide action. I don't know if the tuning's different. The action, I don't know anything about slide. I'll let, I'll let that slide. Let it go. Um, okay. You have to pick e um, email or a mill, sorry. Uh, you have to pick one to play for the rest of your life, 50s or 60s strat? Um, I'd probably go with 60s maybe. Probably, I probably wouldn't like the, 50s has the fatter neck, right? I don't know. One, do you think I should go for a classic vibe Strat or a Mexican Fender Strat? How much the difference is? The price is a lot different. The neck is different. The body and the, like, I've done a few videos where usually the blind tone videos I do, people like the tones of the classic vibe pickups more than the player series. But I like the necks better on the player series. And that's what's in your hands and you can always change the pickups. So if you can afford the player, I'd go for the player. But the classic vibe is good too. But I just don't like the neck as much. It's skinnier and it's uh, it's got all that lacquer on it. Hope that helps. Cro Croana. Do you have anything that you find preferable of the Telecaster over Stratocaster? Usually the pickups, usually the tone. I prefer the tone of a, a Tele over a Strat. Okay, John used a piece of mirrored plastic. That's smarter than cutting the mirror in the, in the bathroom because that's what most people do. <laughs> yeah, these are plastic mirror pick cards as well. They're not, uh, they're not metal. Um, Fabio, your favorite amp for crispy clean sound at a reasonable price. That's a tough one. I, don't really, I haven't really played that many amps. Because I like the Princeton I have, but it's not a reasonable price for most people. It was like thirteen hundred, which is like the most I'd probably pay for an amp. Yeah. So I can't really recommend. Well. Yeah, I, I, I haven't played. I really haven't. I really haven't played that many amps. In comparison to how many guitars I've played. I, I hear a lot of people saying, uh, like, it depends. Do you want tube or do you want solid state? Because 
There's a lot of, there's so many options too, right? That's the thing. Let me just check here how we've been doing here. 26 minutes we've been going, half an hour. I think we'll go till four o'clock. We'll see how it's going. If, um, yeah. Steven would rather not pay for a gig bag. I bet you that it doesn't cost much when they, when they throw it in. Um, oh, there you go, Pauline. Hi, problems typing, all thumbs, former Ontarian. Ontario, Ontario, now on the East Coast. Cool, like your channel. But, love your humor even more. Uh, I guess I missed the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. But I love your humor more. Cool. Yeah. Charles, would you prefer a solid rosewood neck or roasted maple neck? Now, after trying both, the uh, solid rosewood. I like it over... I don't have any, any roasted maple necks anymore. I did three builds. I ended up selling all three. Um, not, I didn't hate them. They're just different for sure. I guess best way to describe it would be like a rosewood. The all rosewood neck feels like a worn... It feels like it's worn in, like the finish is worn off and it's really, it feels warm. Like it actually, the temperature on the wood feels warmer and the roasted maple felt very, uh, I'm going to say snappy and shiny and cold. If that's a, you know, it's the best way I can describe it. Um, oh, that's. John, can I change my Mexican strat to hardtail? You can, uh, you can, uh, what do I call it, deck the trim, but I don't think you can change it to a hardtail because you'll have, if you try to get a hardtail bridge, you'll have like a hole. I think the routed hole for the trim will always show. I don't think the screws would line up either. I'm not sure though, but I did, I did uh, deck a trim on, uh, I did a video on it. I think it's called deck, deck your trim. Let me see. Let me see. Deck? No. Trim. There we go. Well, you know what? I think I lied. Because I just, the title is called How to Hardtail a Fender Strat Trim Bridge. So, I mean, it's not really hardtail, but I will reply to your. There you go, John. I will uh, tag you there. Let's see if I can do this. Check out that video. It's an old one. Relative. Oh. Oh, there you go. Cool. Dan. Another another Bailey. So many Baileys. Also not related. After watching your videos, I installed the Obsidian Wire solderless wiring in my classic Vibe Telly. The pots are so much better and sounds better. Cool. They claim that. They say it's going to sound cleaner. And the pots, yeah. The pots are super smooth, right? They use really good hardware. Like it, it's, it's, um, you pay for it. They're not cheap. They're like a hundred bucks, 80 bucks, 90. Depends where you are. Um, but I think they're worth it. And the time you save. And if you want to switch it out, if you want to, if you want to switch out your pickups, you got a solderless kit. You just need to poop, poop. That's the sound it makes. Poop, poop. Um, you got the little pins you push and the wire pops out and you're, you're done. And Bob's your uncle, whatever the hell that means. Schechter Nick Johnson Traditional is a great Strat style guitar. I've heard of that. I want to check out a Schechter PT. There's a, a Tele style Schechter. Yeah. Um, JD saying JHS has made a video called Solid State Sucks. I've seen that video. I've seen that video recommended to me, but I never clicked on it. He went on a rant for forever about it. Only tube amps for guitars, do they? I don't know. I've got a solid state amp, it's right there. That's a Fender Deluxe 85. And that's a Princeton, so I got those two right there. I like it. I used to, I used to gig with it. Made it a lot easier for gigging because I just needed a loud amp and I put pedals through it. I never worried about the tubes and it was light. It's like 30 pounds. Um, 
Kirko, do you think uh, the MIM price raise is temporary or permanent going forward? I have no idea how that stuff works. I don't see prices ever coming down. It did in Canada, though, when the prices went up in the States, but that's because of the, 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 uh, the dollar value. The currency conversion, our dollar went up in value, so our prices dropped. And that's the only time I've ever seen that. I've never seen guitar prices come back, no. So I don't, if I had to guess, I'd say no. Uh, Miguel is saying, Boss, Katana, MK2. I never see MK2, I think Mortal Kombat 2. That's just, that's what's in my head. Pretty good for the price. Somebody was asking about, uh, yeah, Boss Katana. That's that's an option. Or, what's the uh, Fender one? It's digital. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there we go. Gary from North Wales again, having a beer. 827 there, cool. What's the weather like there in the summer? Like this time of year, do you guys get hot weather? Mm -hmm. I'm used to it being noisy in here because this computer used to, the fan used to kick in, but I'm not using that one, I'm using my uh, my laptop. So it's quiet. I can hear every little noise because of the sound. It's getting warm in here though. All these lights create a lot of heat. Yeah, so the price. Um, Corona, what do you think about the trim bridge on the Strat? Prefer hardtail bridges? Overall, I prefer hardtail bridges. I like them, I like it once in a while. Um, I like this one more. Here, one sec. This is not a Strat though. This is a, a Jazzmaster, and it's got a really different type of, type of trim. I don't know how to. It's smooth, like softer. It's like more springy, and it can go up and down, and you can lock it, so you can just have it go down. It's pretty cool. I like it. This is an all rosewood neck. Somebody was asking about that. I can see the grain on it, maybe. See that. Like it feels like, it feels like chocolate and peanut butter. That's what it looks like. Don't fall. That's my heaviest guitar. That's like, that's eight pounds something. That's as far as I would go. Uh... Oh, Nathan, did you sell your Gilmore Strat? Yes, uh, last summer. Oh, there you go. Cute junkie. DHL just dropped off my Hotone or Hot One. How do you guys say it? Hotone or Hot One? Ampero Control going to be my OBS scene switcher. Cool. That's that's handy. Rather than clicking in the... That's what I'm using right, right now, OBS. Um, PRS SE gig bags are a nice addition. They are nice. I have two of them. No, I have one of them. Do I have two of them? I don't know. No, I have one. I have one of those and I have a good day. They're both really nice. Uh, Avery, where might you recommend to buy spare unfinished strat style bodies and necks? Uh, unfinished? Um, First place that comes to mind is Warmoth. I think they sell unfinished. I've never bought anything from there. There's, it depends where you are in the world too. Like there's, in Canada, is it Solo Guitars or Solo Music? I can't remember the name of the company. Bought a few things from them. I've never bought an unfinished body. So there's also uh, Guitar Fetish. There's a lot of places. Yeah, maybe Reverb. Take a look in Reverb. Boris, what kind of soap should I use to clean my stainless steel pots? I would use uh, Dove or uh, or um, Mr. Clean, right? Or just put it in the shower. Just put it put it in the bathtub. Run it. Leave it overnight. See what, see what happens. <laughs> um, now, actually, what I, what I use, I don't know if I have stainless steel pots. Use deoxid on scratchy pots. 
Gear Freak. What up, people? Poop, poop. Um, John, yeah, no problem. Got the link there for the video. Okay. Speaking of Schecter earlier, it would honestly be better than my Fender at half the price. They make like, uh, what the hell is it? What do they call it? Schecter PT. Some cool, uh, cool colors that I saw recently. Gary has flooding, but more sunshine than ever. Hey, there you go. The weather's weird, right? Like it's hot here. Usually by this time of year, it's cooling down a little bit, but it hasn't yet. Even though it cooled down a little bit, but overall, no. Speaking, oh, I saw that. Uh, Avery, can you play that for us now? The, uh, I'm not gonna plug in, no. I've decided, you know what, I still have, this is still on my back burner. I'm gonna do like um, an acoustic like set, like play like, but I wanna have that set up and that'll be the focus of the stream and not, I find having a, a guitar in my hands and trying to read and type and talk and noodle, it's too much. I'm not that, I'm not that coordinated. I'd rather answer the questions right now. And then, uh, you know. Uh, I want to get a Fender Squire 50s vibe. Do you prefer it? Um, I mean, do, do I like it? I think they're pretty good. I don't love the neck on it, but overall they're really good. Boris has the 70s classic vibe Strat. Love it. I had one of those for a review. Hot one. There we go. It's not Ho-Tone. Ho-Tone. Um, Mad Chris saying Warmoth is really cool, but I hate their web. Their, web, their website is kind of... Not the best. It's okay. It's It looks like it's maybe stuck five years. Well, not as bad as PV's website. Have you seen PV? They don't know how to do a website. Uh, oh, Buddy's saying Gibson rolled down the LP standard price in 2019. I mean, it's possible. I just don't know how that stuff works. Dan, do you still have the box a AC-10? I do. It's on the floor. Can you see it there? No. I don't know if it's visible. It's down there. Um, Avery, do you have a Pyrex measuring cup in your kitchen? I have one, yes. Everybody does. If it, you should have one. If you don't, get one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I never bought anything from Warmoth. I was looking, I wanted to do, last year I wanted to do an all rosewood telly. And they don't sell an all rosewood telly body. They sell like a rosewood, um, what do you call it, when it's just the top panel. And then the body was, the rest of the body was like, Disgusting mahogany or something cheap. No. When I hear mahogany, I think of uh, rich mahogany. Ron Burgundy said that or something. In one of those Anchorman movies. So they didn't, yeah, they didn't have a full, they didn't have a full rosewood body. And odds are, here's what would happen if I did do a full rosewood guitar. I'm talking about like the George Harrison Fender rosewood thing. It would probably be like nine, 10 pounds and I'd, I'd hate it. Um, Jeremy R86 just joined the stream. Are you familiar with Revolta gu guitars? No, I'm not. I've heard the name, but I can't think. Uh, I can't think. I can't think. Um, Elgin, what is the bad things about 50s classic vibe square? Uh, the neck is skinny, but maybe, maybe you like that. And it's very lacquered neck, so it's sticky. But that's like, you know, there you go. Fabio saying, hey, same thing. Small frets too. Yeah, that's true. 
Karana, how many American professional guitars do you own? Um, one, two, three. Technic, no, wait, four, four. Yeah, I'm gonna say four. And the reason that's a weird answer is because some, I have some other guitars that it's like, the, it's an American professional neck, but it's not, an, but it's a made in Mexico body. So four. Veneer, there you go. Um, Eston, I think the thickness of classic vibe 50s is a bit much. The th like the thickness of what? The weight? That can be heavy. Steven, favorite live concert uh, that I've been to? Uh, probably, I think it was my second concert. 1997, I saw Radiohead play here in Ottawa. Yeah, I didn't live here though, but I was, I was 18 and it was like 5,000 people. That was my favorite concert because it was so intimate. And it was like in a, it was in a, a ballroom of like a conference center, which is like a weird place. So the, the floor was carpeting and uh, it was pitch black because it was in a room and the doors were all closed. It's pretty cool. Some spice to your life. You're more into single coils or humbuckers? Definitely single coils. Yep. And I wasn't always. I used to remember looking at tellies and I'm like, I can't get a telly unless it has a humbucker in it because that's what I started on. Uh, this one here, and I'll pull it off the wall here. This was like the guitar that I, I used to gig with all the time. And that's a humbucker in the bridge and a really thick blue sounding. They're called lace sensor. That's what these are. Actually, these ones are labeled Fender Lace Sensor because these were pulled out of a Tele Plus and I bought them used on eBay years ago. There's a difference. I'm sure they're not made exactly the same anymore. But look, look at that. It actually says Fender Lace Sensor. So that was confusing for me for years. I was like, Lace Sensor is Fender? Like, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's not, it's not the same company. It was a partnership they had in uh, the 90s, I guess, right? I think uh, this one has a little bit of wear on the neck. This is a thin C. This is a made in Mexico, 2003. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit heavier. It's like seven and a half pounds, almost eight pounds. But I didn't know anything back then. It's like I had one guitar that I played in the band and I didn't have money for other gear. So just played what you had, so. Um, Chat always jumps. Have you, uh, Lanny, ever tried Seymour Duncan pickup called a quarter pounder used as a neck pickup? No, I haven't. I haven't. Seymour Duncan, I mentioned that in my Jim Adkins video I just did. I really haven't played many uh, Seymour Duncan pickups except for the ones, I don't think, were they Seymour Duncan designed? The ones that used to be in the, the classic, not classic vibe. Uh, a lot of Squire guitars had Seymour Duncan, but I don't know if it was actually a Seymour Duncan or if it was kind of inspired by Seymour Duncan. Yeah, I don't know. Thought about reviewing acoustic guitars. Orangewood announced that they're shipping to Canada. No, I haven't, I haven't thought of. Like, um, I have one acoustic guitar and uh, maybe this is just me being naive, but they all sound the same to me. It's just, it comes down to the, how well they play. I know that's not true. They, they don't all sound the same, but it's not, um, it's not something that really interests me though. Different acoustic guitars, no. But uh, enough about me, more about me. I love Vox amps. This isn't me, JD. I had an old solid state and an AC4 tube, cool. Um, uh, Jeremy's saying I should definitely check out Revolta. It sounds revolting. That's the first thing that comes to mind. 70s is definitely thicker. The 70s, definitely more wall paneling too. And bell bottoms, right? Are we talking about, what are we talking about? Um, can't answer that. Fender Custom, my Fender Custom HH has a Seymour Duncan and Pearly Gates. I've heard of that name before too. Cool. Affinity. Uh, 
Oh, that's changed. Uh, Boris is talking about the affinity near the nut, the neck. The ones that I played this year, they, they went to the normal width. 1.685 inch instead of, uh, well, they have the, the inch and then they have the millimeters. 42 instead of the 40. Makes a big difference. Yeah. Uh, oh, John's saying my, uh, yeah, that would. You know what I have to do, though? If I put the, um, let me see here. It's a different, uh, so that that gold mirror pick guard I have, it does, it has the, I don't know what you call it. It doesn't have the two screw holes for uh, the pickup here. I'd have to drill those in. Also, these lace sensor neck pickups, they're not, they're bigger than, I think they're like a Strat pickup size so that they're not like the normal telly neck so you have to route it out so it, it either blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm trying to say it would either look nice or look horrible because I'd have to cut it Jerry hey Landon what is your main mic for singing um uh audio technica AT uh, 2035 I believe Crayfish? You guys say crayfish or crawfish? I couldn't live without my acoustic guitars. Um, when was one? When was the last time you played in a concert? Oh, a long time ago. 2007, I think. And I did a couple like um, open mics maybe a couple years ago, three years ago. Not open mics, jam nights, that kind of thing. But yeah. So, phew, man, I don't even want to think. That's so long ago. 14 years ago? Uh, definitely not revolting, I know. I sound like pasta, too. Some kind of pasta. Didi, about Squire Affinity Telecaster, are those fret smooth? Um... I think one was. I've had some that are and some that aren't. Do you mean the fret ends? The fret ends were okay. And I can't speak for every guitar. There's, they make so many. You can you can get good ones. I always say that. You can get good ones and you can get duds. Depends where it's been. Depends on the temperature. Depends on the wood. So many factors. There you go. Austin saying it's literally a strat neck pickup in a telly. That's that's what I was thinking. The size of it is it's a strat pickup. Um, what do you think about the new vintage modified fender amps? I don't think I've heard of those. What is that? Let me look that up. Is that what they're called? Vintage modified fender amps. I'm going to go to fender right now. I'm going to click on amps. Oh, vintage. I don't know what that is. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oh, cool. Oh, you know what? Okay, I've seen the, I've seen the custom Vibro Champ. Um, a guy actually came over to buy a guitar a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, and he had one of those. He brought it in the garage and plugged it in. It sounded awesome. Yeah, I like that amp. It's like uh, 800 bucks. That's the only one I've seen. Cool. Yeah. So I, I do know what they are. I just didn't know I knew. I didn't know I knew what I knew. I knew I didn't know. What I knew. Um, medium jumbo frets feel. Uh, chat keeps jumping when I'm trying to read. Can you show us your clean tone settings on your Fender amp for your telly? Um, actually, in my last video, I do show it. It's in, watch my last video. Or I can just, you know what, I'll, let me just zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in because you can see it right there. Let's see if this is going to work. High tech. Very high tech. Is that in focus? Pretty good zoom on this, right? Okay, there you go. There's my, there's my settings. Oh, wow, it really zooms in. Zoom, zoom. So there you go. 
volume, treble, bass, reverb, spat ed, and in intestin intestinal intestiny intestiny you know what it says it's getting hot in here oh no i zoomed out too far there we go there we go fix it up and now i gotta fix it up i'm firing my stage manager so uh where was i there Uh, what's your favorite? Sorry, I'm just getting caught. Ah, the chat jumped. Jumped. It jumped right to the end. So now I'm going to read questions right at the end. Pad Paddle Room, what camera are you using? Uh, it's a Sony AX53. It's a camcorder. It does really, that's the one I, this is what I use for everything. Um, that's out of focus. On one sec here. And like that. And there we go. And now it's crooked. And now you're sideways. But it has like a, it has like a built-in, uh, what do you call it? Not a gimbal, but it's like the camera is basically floating inside, so you could run around with it, and it would it'd be really good. Um, what's your favorite telly? Favorite telly? Usually this one. This is one I put together. It's a American Original Nitro neck, and it's got twisted tele pickups and four-way switch. And it's like it's a mishmash of parts, and it's a body I bought. This is the one that I drilled through the back. You can see that maybe. See there, I drilled the hole. I was drilling inside here, and I drilled right through. I was so happy when I did that. It was it was the best day. There was joy to be had most for the rest of. I felt so good. <laughs> now that's how you learn. You make mistakes and you learn. I've also drilled through uh, a headstock. You, you only do that stuff once. That's how you. That's how you learn. And uh, did I show that in the video? I don't know if I did. No, I probably back then I was too embarrassed to show mistakes in videos when I did that video. But I, I show them now because. Hopefully, hopefully somebody can see that first and then try to be careful and not do the same stupid stuff. Off for now, Joy. Watch the rest later. Take care. Um, John's getting dizzy. Sorry if the camera would work was shaky there. Major upgrade. You should get some modern tellies like Chapman. I don't like reverse headstocks. I don't really like any of the Chapman stuff either. I haven't really, well, they don't sell it around here, so I probably wouldn't be trying them anywhere, but. Um, they don't see him on uh, Anderton's anymore either. So that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, you're saying a happy face. Uh, Austin, I'm just scrolling back up. Do you notice the difference between the American Pro 2? Oh, Pro and Pro 2. Next. Specs are identical. Ah, the chat just moved again. I do notice the satiny, satin on the Pro 2 feels nicer. And I lost where it was, so. John was saying Duncan Design. There we go. I was just scrolling back up, but I can't keep up there. Um... Oh, uh, Gary did the same thing. So what I learned was, I learned that, so what I was doing was, I, I don't know if I explained it, this is what happened with this one. And I tried finish, I tried to like fix it up with car paint and a finish so you can feel it there. So what I was doing was I was putting in the, the wiring and I was going to put in a ground wire and I was drilling in the bottom for the, um, oh, what do they call those, are they lug? Uh, I can't remember the name, I can't remember words today. It's weird. I can't remember any words. Whatever the ground wire connects into, it's like, it's kind of like this, 
not a pin, but a little loop, and you drill it in, and then you can solder your wire to it. Anyways, I didn't realize there's really not much. It depends on the guitar too. That's the other thing. There might have been like quarter of an inch in the in the base. So now I've learned not to drill into the bottom. Just drill into a side or somewhere else. So, yeah. Uh, Austin, thanks for answering that question. I don't know which one I answered, but I but I did answer. I remember I said something. My short term memory is. My short, what was I talking about? Um, think Chapman moved to Malta. I don't know where that is. What's a Malta? Is that a country or a city? I meant to say he bought out Captain Lee for Chapman. He bought out Captain Lee for Chapman. Uh, I don't know what that means either. Found new pedal show. Harpist plays. Oh God, I saw that. This is from Gretch. Uh, there is a yeah. There's a channel that's gone like viral. It's a, a girl that plays the harp, and she plugs it into um, pedals, guitar pedals. Very cool. Very unique. Very cool. Uh, what kind of mic do you have? It's from Richard. Right now, the mic. I've got a. Well, I've got a bunch of mics. The uh, which one are you asking about? Like the one right here. This one is, um, this one's called a, v, a Shure VP83, and it's direct mount onto my camera. So it's got like the, the uh, what is it, what's it called, TRS connection. Um, all the other mics I use are XLR. I've got a, a ribbon mic that's uh, in front of that amp. Let's see it right there. Yeah. Why am I hugging this? Because it's my friend. Um... Oh, the satin neck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No problem. Malta is a tiny island in the Mediterranean Sea. There you go. Maltese Falcon. Isn't that a term for something? The Maltese. Isn't that a movie? I don't know. Gothmog, have you tried any of the Sire Larry Carlton guitars? No, I haven't. Uh, somebody's asked me that before. I think Sweetwater has them. Um, that's the only place I've seen them. Oh, Rob Chapman bought out Captain Lee. They were partners in Chapman. Okay, there you go. I never knew that. I, I thought Rob Chapman owned R Chapman guitars. But I guess now he does. Um... Gary used white furniture wax to cover his synth. I used what I find. It was like some kind of auto paint repair kit or something. Did okay. Fox and Hound, can we move on? Absolutely. What's your question? Isn't that a spaceship? Maltese Falcon? I gotta look it up now. It's a movie. It's a boat. Maltese Falcon, 1941 American film noir with uh, Humphrey Bogart. That's why I knew it. There you go. Can Wardeep Singh give me a free guitar? Okay, I'll email it to you. What's your favorite overdrive pedal? It's uh, a really cheap one, a Sweet Baby Overdrive. Uh, I want to see you play the Godet guitar with the variant switch. What's the variant switch? You mean the, like the angled? You got it right here. I've never seen that word variance. Is that what you mean? Like that? It's not a... Is that what you mean? Um, Bogart movie. There you go. <laughs> Do you feel like Jay Maskus stole your mirror guitar guard look? No, that's his look for sure. 
I stole his look. I, I wasn't even going for that. I didn't know that guitar was coming out. I um, I ordered that those kit the uh, the pit guard like a month and a half ago or something, and they came in like the day that those videos came out on Fender's channel. John, are you guys still on lockdown? Uh, nope, we're not on lockdown. Oh, Bopper, good day from Sydney, Australia. Cool. Lots of people from Australia watching. It's early there though. Um, Magic KB, hi Lando, how's it going? Magic KB, Ontario's on stage three. What telly is that? This is a, a telly clone, it's a good day. Made in Canada. Made right in Canada. Right in the whole thing. Pretty nice. Super light. Ah, should I buy a Marshall 10 MG or Frontman? Don't buy a ten, uh, Frontman. That's all I can say. You'd be better off. You'd be better off not playing guitar. Variac switch. Oh, um, there's no Variac switch. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, my light just died. This happened before. I just, I just lost the idea. It's the opposite. Hold on, I'm going to do a technical uh, repair here. <laughs> so stupid. So what happens? These batteries suck. They suck the life out of me. Okay, there we go. Uh, how long have we been going here? We've been going an hour. I think we're going to wrap it up in a, just a bit. There we go. Uh, go to any session? I haven't tried one of those, no. Least favorite amp you've tried? Um, Fender Frontman 10G. Just right above there. Do you still have a Les Paul? I don't, I, uh, I had a Les Paul. No, I don't. I was going to say which ones I had. I had an Epiphone Les Paul Standard, and then I had a couple Juniors last year, but I don't have them. Joe Strummer Telly. No, I haven't tried one of those. There we go. Um, I'd never buy a Les Paul new. Their attitudes suck. I didn't know Les Pauls have an attitude. Uh, I don't know why that's blocked. Ever try a GNL ASAT? No, that's another brand I want to try. God dang. God dang guitars. Oh, that's a good question. What happens if you put YouTube on double speed during a live stream? It goes faster. See here. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, and then it, it catches faster. And then it catches up. <laughs> Audio Street, love from India. How's it going? Time travel. Half speed. If you wanna, if you're, if you're ever bored and you wanna make a video that's uh, not funny, if you wanna make it funny, put it on half speed. Bennett, does the neck on your Pro 2 Strat feel the same as the neck? Yes, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, Don, how's it going? Been waiting for months for Sweetwater to get the Gadang Stadium in stock for months. Weird. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, I guess just shortages, right? And this that's still going on. Still happening. You still can't buy an Xbox Series X. I was looking for one last year. I was like, ah, oh, they must be available now. So I went and looked at like EB Games, which is like GameStop and uh, Walmart. None. They can't get a PlayStation 5. Can't do anything. Hey. That's my favorite website. No, I'm gonna get rid of that one sec here. There you go. Oh, thanks, John. You can just uh, block that kind of stuff. Oh, there you go. 
I don't get too many of those. I'm, I'm honored. I got a, a web bot from a hot girl's video chat site. That means I've made it. That means I've made it. Um, Dab safe. Oh, you got a goddamn radiator. Cool. Don, looking to get a first telly, classic Vibe 50s. I have a limited, limited budget. Any thoughts on the telly whisper? Um, classic Vibe 50s are good. The, the necks are sticky and, and skinny, but otherwise they're really good. I think I said that before. But you could also sand, you could always sand down a neck. It's like, it's the sticky neck thing is just because I've played so many satin necks. Um, it's hot in Atlanta, Georgia still. How did you get started with live streaming? That's from Mojo. Um, not really sure what you mean, get started. I just try, I'm trying to remember the first one I did. I did a few and some people showed up and then I'm like, there you go. Try it again. Yeah, just build a, you know. I've made it. Once the uh, chat bots start start spamming your live stream, that means you've made it. That's it. That's it. They target the, you know. Uh, no PlayStations, but we got Xboxes. Oh, you can you have them in stock there. That's cool. Any small guitar makers? No, not that I know of. No. Have not. Blessed to 24. By the way, love your videos. Cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a good question. How long have Fender been... Oh, that's probably true. How long have Fender been making Fender-branded... Electrics in Indonesia. I'm gonna say this year. I'm gonna say this is probably the first year because I think it was definitely China, and maybe uh, I think somebody said Korea is where that J90 was before. So, oh no way, Austin. Do you see the Fender's Japan announcement? They're doing a limited run of Supersonics. So that's gonna be a Fender then, right? A Fender Supersonic. That's cool. Yeah, I don't like that guitar. <laughs> uh, Audio Street, I want to tell you I have such a great YouTube channel and entertaining videos. You mean my tech channel, right? Not this one. It can't be this one. No, thanks. Richard, is that really how you... No, that's how you pronounce it. It's Godin. It's French. Godin. Confirmed. It's not Godin. It's not Godin. It's Godin. The A. Is like a French thing. Ga, dai, ga dai, ga dai. <laughs> I confirmed it. The sales rep from ga dai. I asked him. I'm like, did I say it right in the video? He's like, yes. He said it right. Uh, major upgrade, Lennon. Have you gotten a scar my guitar telly from Sean yet? I don't know what that means. Who's Sean? JD, jazz masters come with a mastery bridge. I'm not familiar with what that means. I don't know what the bridge is called on that. Fish, are all guitars manufactured in Indonesia made by Korg? I, it seems like it. I don't know for sure, but... What was your first electric guitar? Oh, it was this, the telly I had out earlier. Um... So it's a uh, made in Mexico telly. Grab it here. Super modified though. Everything's been swapped out on this thing. Tuners have been swapped out for gold. Tuners, lace sensor pickups, uh, kill switch, gold, gold. Uh, yeah, I went all gold on it. I don't know why. Gold neck plate. The only thing that's not gold. Uh, excuse me. Frets. Yep. This one was kind of a glossy finish, but it's worn away. Managed to wear it away by playing it a lot. Uh, yeah. There we go. We're going here. 
We'll go a few more minutes. It's, it's like uh, getting hungry. Getting hungry. Um, uh, I have a what is the mastery bridge? What is it? Like, I'll show you guys this one again. You can tell me how it's different. Lift up my chair here. Is this a mastery bridge? I can look this up later, but you can tell me right now. This one has like a locking mechanism and it can go up and down. Is that a mastery bridge? Is that not a mastery bridge? Is it an, you know, let me know. Um, oh, Gretsch Zeppelin. Were you going to look into an Eastwood guitar? If so, which model? I, I was. Uh, every time I go to their site, they're all sold out. And I also emailed them asking if I could demo a guitar. I said, hey, I'm from Canada. And you guys, are, Eastwood is a Canadian company. I think they're made in Korea. But I'm like, hey, I'm Canadian. I'd like to support a Canadian uh, guitar thing. That's, that's, that's the words I wrote. So it probably didn't make any sense. No, I, and they weren't, they, weren't, uh, doing any, they weren't doing any collaborations, I think is what the answer was. They're not, they weren't interested. They're like, we don't want to send a guitar so you can suck on our guitar. But their, their uh, YouTube channel isn't the best, I'd say. That's just my opinion. So, you know, I'd like to try one eventually. Because they just released one that looked pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can find it here. I'll tell you what it's called. I'll tell you what it's called. Let me tell you. We said Eastwood, right? Not Eastman, because that's confusing. They have a guitar. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there we go. Eastwood Airline Map FM. Looks cool. Looks like a cool guitar. Yeah. Chocolatey neck. It tastes tastes good. Oh, Don, there you go. Pizza mon money to satisfy your hunger. I need it right now. I'm starving. <laughs> Thanks so much. Don, this video is sponsored by Don Erickson. 2021. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the Stones. Yeah, that's sad, right? I, I, you know what? I'm not a Stones follower. I'm not, I can't really say I'm a Stones fan. It's just not my, it's just not from my era and I've never really been into them, but... Um, I think he was he was sick already, and ha they have a replacement drummer. Um, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot more. Actually, that freaked me out back in. I don't want to get all morbid and everything, but back in 2016 when Bowie died, that freaked me out to the point where I actually went and got tickets to see uh, Billy Joel because I'm like I want to see him before he dies, and who else is gonna die? And so many people died in 2016. A lot of famous artists. Was that the same year Prince died? I think a uh, bunch of people. Um, a lot of celebrities died that year for some reason. Just a bad year. Mastery is a company that makes aftermarket. Okay. So that's probably not then because that's a Fender. Unless, yeah. Bopper. I used to hate tellies, but you and Shane... Uh, change my thinking. Hey, cool. Well, you know what? It, it goes both ways because people, um, I really didn't like thin line tellies and I tried one and I like it. I don't love it, but it's, uh, you know, yeah, I think there's, um, I think a lot of people still think tellies. Well, I used to, I used to think they were just a country guitar because that's what you associate it with. Punk Waff 24. Is a Yamaha Pacifica better than a Squire Bullet Strat? I don't know. I think there's a bunch of different kinds of Pacificas, right? Different levels. Um, and Bullet is the lowest. Yeah, somebody's answering. Boris is answering. Thanks, Boris. Yeah, gold uh, gold frets would last about a day. That's true. The, the gold stuff wears off. It does. Because it's just like a plating. Or whatever it is.
Yep. There we go. John Singh, a lot of legends died that year. My friends and family were very worried about, about John in 2016. Um, John, is it wrong I spend more time modding guitars than actuals playing them? No, I think that's pretty common. I actually have a, a shorts video that I'm working on that's kind of like that. And uh, I'll just say what it is. This is the idea. I haven't filmed it yet, but it's... Um, I don't know what the title is going to be, but it's going to be something like my... Or the average guitarist, the average guitarist, or my, or my, what am I trying to say? The average guitarist practice schedule, or it's going to be my practice schedule for guitar, something like that. And it's going to be me setting up the guitar and the amp and all that stuff. And then, and then when I'm about to play, I just go on the internet and start looking at guitars. That's, that's my practice schedule. Because it's true. It happens all the time. Austin, take care. Don't let the body snatchers get you. Um, oh, Eston, some of those rosewood fender tellies are chambered. So, so oh, that, that would help. Yeah, you'd need that. You'd need it. Cool. What time we got here? One seventeen. No, that's not what time it is. That's how long I've been playing playing what is he saying i'm gonna wrap it up so then i can do timestamps, and then it doesn't take me a year to do timestamps. always got gas too much too much gas always yeah cool um unless there's any last questions here hey there's a new button right here what does this do create a poll one second this is new there we go. What is that? Oh, excuse me. What does that do? Did that show up somewhere? I created a poll. Does it does it show up? I don't know if it's. Uh... Oh, there we go. Pops up. <laughs> I'll let people answer that poll, and then uh, and wrap it up. I'm gonna say no. That was the first options. Yes and no. That's cool. This is like a real time poll. This is this is new. Oh, I'm gonna. Hold on a sec here. Fifty-eight percent of people think it's a poll, so there we go. Okay, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, thanks, John, for modding. We got that guy. We got that bot. We destroyed him. Whatever that was. What was it called? I don't know. Stupid, stupid bots. Cool. All right, I'm going to end this stream. So have a good weekend. Um, if you guys uh, follow Phil McKnight, I usually tune in on his live stream Fridays in the chat there. But anyways, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks again. That's it for real. Later.